Hey there, it's Tab from the Wave Team, and we have got an iPad OS 1.3 release for the Wave camera. That I wanted to do just a quick overview. So we've got some, some new things that are cool. We've got uh, thumbnail generation on the side, so you can load your Wave and look at all the different clips that are available. We can queue multiple clips for export now. We've added HEVC 10-bit video exports, and then we've added the ability for 16.9 crop to UHD or FHD for 4K and 2K. Um, we've just pushed this to the App Store. Additionally, we have, um, it's just for iPad though and Mac OS at this point, but we have wave sample footage on our wiki. If you search FreeFly wiki wave, some, some of those search terms, you'll get to our wiki and there's uh, sample footage on the downloads page. So you can get grab some footage from Frame.io, load it into your iPad and play with it and get a feel for wave footage. But I just want to go over a few of the features really quickly. I thought I would just, um, these are some, some sweet clips that Hugh got me. So I thought I would just grab a quick chunk of each of it, cue the export and show the workflow. So I'm going to set my out point there. I'm going to leave it as H.264 and 24 FPS. I'm not going to adjust any color right now, but it's got all the stuff if you want to, wanted to adjust it. Um, grab that one. I'm going to go to the middle on this one. I like that section. That's good. In. I just need a few seconds of this to show how waterproof the Astro is. Okay, that's good. We'll cue that. Let's check out this lovely little hummingbird friend that my friend Hugh has captured. Okay. Let's set the in, let's set the out. Oops, let's play it a little more before I set the out. Okay, let's cue that. Okay, this is Chase and Astro with the camera car. I love that section. And this is the new, I'm testing this right now on the new M1 uh, iPad. And it has been working really nicely. It's very fun to edit on the iPad or export clips on the iPad, I should say. So let's cue that. Okay. Occasionally, and we're still tracking down exactly why, but occasionally a thumbnail may or may not show. When I've reloaded, um, when I've reloaded things, usually it shows up. So that's a bug. It's a known bug that we're working through right now. It's a nice little section of Astro cruising through the tall grass. Okay, that's good for what I need. Let's cue that. And I think this is just one more Astro. Oh, I like that section. Okay. The other hilarious thing is I got an iPad mount for my wave. So now my iPad sits on top of the wave and it is the most ridiculous looking contraption I have ever created because I have the larger iPad Pro. Um, let's cue that. Okay. So we've, I've grabbed the clips I like. Uh, one other thing I didn't touch on, you can play at different resolutions. It'll play back at different, different FPS right now based on that. Uh, let's export. So you just click export and it's just going to work its way through it. And then these files will all be in my uh, photos on my iPad and ready to go, ready to share. So I know a lot of people were bummed that we didn't have um, the ability to queue and do a bunch of exports at once. So this will be something that will help. But I think this will hopefully, okay. And then if we cruise over to photos, you can see they're there and ready to go. So the time from wave to Instagram has been reduced substantially. <laughs> so anyway, give it a try. Uh, grab it from the App Store. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you hate. We will continue working on it. And that's that. Thanks.